All right, class, gather around. We're gonna talk about going into the Oakdale Cemetery. It's the second oldest cemetery in Wilmington. There's some very old gravestones here. You're gonna really enjoy it. This year though, we're doing it virtually. You'll use the spreadsheet that we've given you and uh, follow us along. We're not gonna go in order. This is a 30 year in a row tradition. Um, I hope that you and your family will come and do this. It's a beautiful day today and, and maybe you can come out and find the landmarks in person. We're not gonna go in order. The teachers are going to give you a little explanation of each of those. Um, we're excited you come on the field trip today. Hope you enjoy it. All right, normally you would go in in groups and try to find everything. I'm just going to give you a little hint. Um, we're going to go to my my right, your left, uh, and most of the landmarks are on this half of the uh, cemetery. They're down this main road here on the left. There's a white line. Uh, if you stay left of that, you're pretty much going to find everything. There's a lot of neat things on the left side. So let's go on in. One of the two landmarks that are not marked today, um, let's see if you can find this one in section H. You can obviously see it so you can probably find it better is uh, Lizzie Turlington. She was a deaf mute. Um, she also was engaged to a deaf mute man and they were uh, courting. He was gone on a business trip and while he was gone, she was found in a, uh, on a, a, a carriage ride with another gentleman. He was jealous of that, came back and actually killed the both of them. Uh, it was a very sad story. And because they could not find the man who murdered them, um, their parents placed his name on their on her gravestone because they couldn't find him and um, very sad story so on the side they actually placed his name uh, murdered by W.L. Bingham it's a very interesting story very sad story but this is one in, located in section H okay class this is one of the monuments that you're gonna visit it's the Confederate mound there are 367 unknown Confederate soldiers buried in this lot that were killed during the Civil War. The, the monument was erected by the Ladies Memorial Association, um, which merged and became part of the Cape Fear, um, chapter number three, Daughters of the Confederates. All right, class, we're in our second monument right here. This uh, William Ellerbrook, uh, he was buried with his dog as they were fighting a fire by front and dock streets in Wilmington. A monument was erected to his memory by the many citizens and friends in Wilmington. A relief of the dog is on the back of the monument, which reads, faithful unto death. This is Annie DeRosset. Her dad was the first president of Oakdale Cemetery. She was the first to be buried in Oakdale in 1855. She is Mrs. Rose O'Neill Greenhouse. She was a Confederate Secret Service agent. She was drowned off um, at the coast of Fort Fisher while she was running a blockade. People say that she was also drowned because she was carrying a bag of money as well. In this grave is um, Henry Bacon. He was an architect and the designer of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, DC. Another interesting fact is that you can find his historical marker in front of the Latimer House. Hi, this is the grave of Edward Dudley. He was the first elected governor by popular vote. On your way to number seven, there's one that I always like to stop by. This lady is buried here with multiple of her children listed, probably some type of yellow fever victims. Most of them died very young, it's very sad, but one of them is labeled Benjamin. So I always stop by this one. Right here we have Dr. Wilkins. He was slain during a duel from a local political election. His monument was erected by a Democratic Association. Uh, this is believed to be the last man to be killed um, in the South in a political duel. This is Nancy Martin, kind of hard to find in the back, but uh, she is pretty obvious with her uh, wood log type structured cross. She in 1857 was with her brother out to sea heading to Cuba and she died while at sea. So to preserve her body, they actually put her in a barrel of rum um, to preserve her body from decaying. 
when they got back to Wilmington, instead of putting her in a casket, they actually just buried her in the barrel of rum right here. Uh, he would go on to continue his business to Cuba and be in a shipwreck. And so uh, several of the family bodies are uh, buried here in this plot. Just past Nancy Martin's grave, you'll come to this grave right here. This is David Brinkley. He was a pioneer in the broadcasting um, career and he was best known for NBC's The Brinkley Report. And when I was a kid, I remember him on TV. On Memorial Day, 1928, the current ILM airport it was named Blue Linthal Field after Arthur Blue Linthal. Uh, he was original flyboy of World War I and he was a Jewish man. Uh, he's also buried in this Hebrew cemetery. You notice on his head dressing is an Indian head dressing with what looks like a swastika, but that was not that symbol was the uh, symbol for the flyboys over in France. And um, you notice his uh, place there that most of the planes that fly over Wilmington uh, fly directly over his um, gravestone here in the Hebrew cemetery. Buried here is Ruth Faison Shaw. She's the one, only one on this side, on the um, right side of the white line that you can find in Lot N. Um, Ruth Faison Shaw, she died in 1969. She actually studied art. I think she was from Bladen County. She also taught art here in Wilmington for a period of time but after she taught art in Europe. Um, she was inspired by a child using iodine and drawing on a wall one day. So she had created finger paint. She also sold her idea to Crayola in the 1930s. You'll see her buried here. Hey class, if you get lost, remember to come back to the middle of the graveyard and find the white line, which leads you all the way back up to the center uh, gates. Hope you guys enjoyed the field trip today, virtual field trip to Oakdale Cemetery. It's been a long standing tradition every year to do this. And it's a great way to spend some of your quarantine days. Don't think it's creepy, because it's a lot of fun. All right, class, let's go back to a bus. But before we actually go to a bus, remember, God is good. All, all the, the time. time. All the time. God, God is, is good. good.